Hello and welcome back everyone. Loading into the next match, Breezy versus the Hieroglyphic Hooligans. And if you actually look at their name in the bracket, uh, this is just going to be uh, a team that is a hieroglyph. That is a dude just like laying down is what that team actually's name is. I couldn't put that in the bracket, the like overlay because it didn't work for whatever reason. The overlay doesn't like hieroglyphs. That's all it is. But uh, anyway, we got Vaga, Everlasting Taco and Wallaby Gangsta on this side versus the Hieroglyphic Hooligans on the other end of things. And yes, this is a VOD solo cast for the entire tournament. We're having fun. We're doing a, a good job, hopefully. <laughs> but no, we're just here to have a good time. Uh, casting these matches, putting on this tournament, and seeing who is going to be the strongest Clarion Test Chamber subject. As the goalie selections come through, Dubu on the one side, Rasmus, and uh, also the Juno. I mean, that's what we saw happen with the caution party last time. Worked out pretty well. Drakkar! the first car we've seen but we've only had one series on stream so far so we'll see exactly how well they do dubu as the likely goalie though i'd love to see a dubu forward i mean those are the strongest dubus out there and the juliet instead coming out so we do have x on the other side hopefully they don't use the x skin we'll see i mean i think it's kind of still visually bugged maybe not i don't know either way uh we have the greatest meme sky genji and mangoes are yummy. Love that team, uh, those player names on the other end for the Hieroglyphic Hooligans. Here we go on the Clarion Test Chamber. Again, I forgot to look up the actual names for each of these modifiers of this map. So if anyone knows the specific ones or has a link, please let me know. Some solo running and casting <laughs> this tournament tonight. Actually, while they are doing that, I will leave it to be a mystery for what the actual uh, <laughs> specifics are going to be. Yeah, this one's obscure. That's what I thought. Call it glue. That's nice. <laughs> Clarion test chamber. Maybe the wiki will help me. Five different variants. What are the variants called? Max's lab. Nice, nice. If you look up Claire on Test Chamber, my event apparently comes up in the first, like, few searches. So that's interesting. Well, first overtime already. Barriers down on both sides. Almost a goal. How was that saved by Vaga with the core flip? Getting that one aside, saving the day for Team Breezy, but not saving themselves. It's Everlasting Taco is able to not do anything at that point in time because X is going to give it to you and give you a goal for the side of the Hieroglyphic Hooligans on the red end. Bounty House is based on, yeah, interesting. Oh, Octavia, yeah, that makes sense. Because that's like uh, the Demon Deus, like, bumpers that are basically on the side, so, like, activate. <laughs> Set to the Shadow Realm is Sky Genji. <laughs> Sucks to suck, but it's okay. We have the, the Beach Dubu, and uh, I don't really know the name of this other Dubu, but I like the skin. <laughs> Project Xeno, Project Obscura, Project Expanse, Project Base Drop, and Project Maelstrom. Okay. Let me just write that down. I could probably guess what each of those are. <laughs> Thank you, Max. The Magic, Maxic, Maxic. I think that's what that is. <laughs> Already though, Everlasting Taco doing what they can on the forward Rasmus. Usually we see goalie Rasmus, but I see a bit of a change up this time. I wanted to rock the Catboy skin and I respect it. Again, these are best of ones. Got to make it into semifinals to have a chance for those Audi points and Sony emotes. We do see Everlasting Taco large and in charge. I mean, I'll, I'll permit that uh, I'll kill you, but, uh, you know, keep it P keep it PG. <laughs> so I assume that's all in good fun. Just a size buff. Yeah, that's very true. I'm guessing this one is the Project Maelstrom because of that. There goes the Giga Blast from Everlasting Taco. Trying to see if they can hold on to this final goal barrier. Having two goalies might be enough, but not against the X who is maximized. There we go. Mangoes are yummy, doing all they can defensively. As 
Everlasting Taco now. Large and in charge. Has all the size, but didn't really... I don't know what they were doing there, actually, with that back pass. It was kind of a weird strike from them, but uh, Vaga, not in the best position, because the great meme has scored both goals in a row for the Hieroglyphic Hooligans in this quarterfinal. We actually haven't even taken a look at the uh, starting awakenings. Reverberation and extra special. Okay, that makes sense why you would go with uh, Erasmus on this one. Well, that one was sent to the Shadow Realm for a second. Hydrate, yes, I will. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> More of a casual cast than it typically it would do for these, because again, solo casting and producing and admitting these. Oh my goodness, so many hydrations. I, I'm going to be drowning after this, everyone. <laughs> well, it seems like uh, the one team that is drowning is Team Breezy. It's the Hieroglyphic Hooligans. It took them down in the regular stage of the ladder. Now they're looking to take them down here with a 3-0 sweep in the first set. I almost spit my water at Surf's Up. <laughs> Couple of decent options here. Missile Propulsion, solid pickup. Temple Swing, always nice to see too. Especially for that Barrage. Prize Fighter, I mean, that's a staple for X. Stacks on stacks, solid Big Fish, extra size and stagger for the Juliet. Peak Performance, also pretty decent. Solid across the board. Oh, posture check and hydrate. The combo that's coming out now. <laughs> there we go. The expanse. This is probably my like least favorite modifier for this. Oh, X was in jail. Couldn't escape for a second there. Because you just literally have to go around the sides and it kind of just like pushes people and that's about it. it doesn't do too much. You just activate it and then it's a nuisance. <laughs> What are y'all's favorite uh, version of the test chamber? I, I quite like the, uh, what is it called? The Maelstrom one. All the size, all the angles. Expanse Weedle, your favorite? Okay, okay, I get it. I, I, I respect it. <laughs> I have to play on specific sides of it. But there we go. First goal for Team Breezy. The Wallaby Gangsta will put this one on through. The angles are yummy. Could not stop that for a moment. As now we get to Project Obscura. First couple of seconds, no gold barriers down just yet. Down the other direction it goes. Will it slow things down? No, it won't. Nobody knows. Angles are yummy. There we go. With the energy burst, taking one gold barrier down, but giving one up in the process. Oh, no. So close. Still saved it. With the core strike, and away it goes. Guy Genji doing all they can to keep this away from the midfield, away from Wallaby Gangsta. They know how deadly they are. Now it's some ping pong action between the Tofu Fortresses. Some trench warfare happening. <laughs> Vaga just trying to take out the great meme. Oh, well, there they go. Greatest meme, no longer the best meme out there. Skull Bear is down. Two players down. Sky Genji has to save the day for their team. They're doing all that they can, but oh, somehow with the Xeno Cloak, no! Didn't have the angle necessary to save it on gold in the end, but valiant effort from Sky Genji. Oh, that would have been amazing. See, this one's so weird. It's like people disappeared in it, and it's like, I don't know. It's not the best for spectating, because you can't at all see the red team when they're in it. <laughs> But either way, the great meme disappearing from our scopes. But so is the goalie on the other side and the goal barrier. And there goes another one. Oh no, Vega can't get back in time. More goal barriers down by the wayside. Well, the gangsta doing all they can. Xeno Cloak coming out. Even more invisibility. Oh, mangoes are yummy. Zigged when they should have zagged. And there it goes. Tied up the other direction. Two sweeps. One for each side. This is going to be a nail biter of a series. Let me make sure the bracket is progressing. I haven't even checked on it recently. Hopefully nobody pinged me. But still. Demolitionist and Knife's Edge. All new awakenings available with the most recent update. 
gain size and destroy barriers to reduce cooldowns. That is a huge pickup for a forward player. Quick strike always solid for Drakkar. Knife's Edge, pretty decent there too for the way Rasmus has been playing. Specialized training, I mean, I guess. <laughs> and Super Surge the other direction, always nice to see. Decent pickups across the board. Twin Drive, definitely the best out of uh, the two goalies for those specifically. Bouncy Castle. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, here we go into a Bouncy Castle a little bit. Guy Genji doing all they can. Set up the great meme with something and the Audi Angles coming out in full force with this one. Oh, the project is working out well enough for Hieroglyphic Hooligans. They were able to get that one on through. Nice comeback after being swept in the, the last one. Ooh, well, the gangsta. Can't really do too much there. That was a very powerful Tofu Fortress. I'm trying to remember, mangoes are yummy. Yes, they are the one who does have the, oh, what's it called? This propulsion, it's been a while. Extra range on their projectiles means they can place their Tofu Fortress so far away. So funny. This guy Genji, great dribbling. Towards the invisibility zone. Great meme, can't really do too much here. Ooh, oh, direction it goes, no. Ah, oh, still nothing. Angles are yummy though, it's pretty nice from them. Aga, drop down, while the Gangsta, great. Everlasting Taco, I haven't talked about them too much on this Rasmus, and I feel like that's for a reason. They haven't been too effective for their team. Mangos are yummy. Just keeping this at bay towards the midfield, still holding on to both their goal barriers, and still looking strong to take this set potentially, but both goal barriers down with the energy burst from Everlasting Taco. I called them out, and they stepped into the plate. Almost a potential KO on the Sky Genji, but they had so much stagger left. Nice from all the gangsta so far. They're a great meme, just being a nuisance to Everlasting Taco, making it so that they can't even really do anything against them. Spin to win with the bull rush. All the gangsta can't do anything there. Excuse me, the bell ring. The bull rush is the the dash. <laughs> it's a bit. The mangoes are yummy. Oh no, moved forward while the gangsta almost had it. Sky Genji somehow saving the day on that one. And still we are in overtime between these two teams. Oh no, it all goes wrong for the side of the hieroglyphic hooligans. Oh, that's gonna hurt, but it's okay. It's gonna change maps and here we go. Project Maelstrom again. Who is gonna get the size? Who's gonna be large and in charge? Will it be the X? No, it's the Rasmus. That's huge, extra speed. All of the barriers gone so quickly on that one. You can tell they've kind of scaled for this specific side of the map. <laughs> but they didn't get the gold somehow. Kale does come out, so it feels like a matter of time, but angles are yummy and greatest meme. We're doing best they could, but the redirect off the barrier in the center gets that second goal. And it's all going to come down to this next one. Oh, here we go. Back to the expanse. We'll see what happens here. Gonna be a bit of a slow roller with those Tofu Fortresses just being a nuisance, blocking the entire way. Oh, uh, Megos are yummy. It's not have the range on it there. Summer Assault, Oko Bear is down already again. This looks to be going in the favor of Team Breezy, but one Go Bear down for them too. Great meme, doing all they can. They got another one. Anybody's game this time should be a huge win. No, I was gonna say this would be a huge win for the Hooligans. They were fooling around too much and Everlasting Taco caught them out with the Giga Blast. And that's two sets in a row for Team Breezy. One away from booking their ticket into the semifinals and having a shot at least at top three. What a play. Castle last taken. They don't want to give that to uh, the X. <laughs> Perfect form, still pretty solid. Spark of Resilience. Okay, I don't think they have any sparks yet. Uh, no, they don't. So, I mean, increase stagger. They'll take it. Maybe see if something goes for the next one. Aerial is always good for the Jakar. And Timeless Creator, nice to see as well for the Dubu. 
Act 2, Project Obscura. The Everlasting Talk with the early Giga Blast. As a reminder, uh, Happy Star was available as the starting Awakening. And also uh, Reverberation, from what we can see. The great meme, not great enough just yet to get that gold barrier down. This guy Genji does, though. And the forward push from Mangos are yummy with the Tofu Fortress doing all that they can there. I'll be gangsta. Nice to see with the flying kick to get that gold barrier. The demolitionist coming on to display there as well. Some extra size. Everlasting Taco, not much stagger remaining. They could get KO, but they don't need to worry about it if they're pushing up and if they do get that goal, because they'd only be two away from the victory here for Team Breezy. Looking to make the run of a century. They lost to this team during the regular portion of the ladder. Oh, but there goes a KO on the other direction. There goes a goal bear as well. The advantage needs to be pushed. The positioning, not quite it just yet. Good use of that energy burst by Vaga. Fine time for Taco. Nice shot for Wallaby Gangsta, but still not enough. Oh, so close. Perfectly timed. Burst from Mangos are yummy somehow. Got the strike on that one. As it does go back to Vaga. A Tofu Fortress, so annoying. Of how far it can go to be deployed. It works out so well. Roll out, no! Was that an old goal? Oh, no! <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Everlasting Taco will take it, though. Every day of the week. Already a couple seconds into this one. Gold Bear down, but Everlasting Taco with both their Gold Bears down saves the day somehow with that size. Can't get a Gold Bear themselves like they needed to. They're going to be in a bad spot for the remaining time. There they go, quickly. The Gold Bear is down even with the size boost. Was not enough for them. Now tied one to one. Here we go, the lanes of entry, of invisibility on either side. See who can take most advantage of them, but just sent to jail was the core for a second. Down it goes. While the gangsta had something to work with, but not enough there either. Mangos are yummy. Still can't do anything here. Vaga drop down, sent center. Good touch from Taco with the energy person one goal away is Team Breezy to potentially taking this entire series. The Audi angles are coming in full force. Boko Bears are down already. Team Breezy are looking to close things out as quickly as they can. The great meme trying to make this still a possibility for a comeback. To force a set five. Pass back by Sky Genji. Going elusive to avoid some extra damage. Oh, the angle was insane on that one, but somehow was saved for a second. But no. Mangos are yummy. Not prepared for the pressure, and it will be Team Breezy moving forward into the semifinals, awaiting the winners of LP Thieves and Seraphim Vermilion. What a victory that was from them. GG's across the board. We take a look at the stats here. Pretty even between Everlasting Taco and Wallaby Gangsta as far as goals are concerned, but the participation from Taco, immaculate. Great work for Mangos are Yummy as well. Defensively, solid series across the board, but only one team could move forward from then on out. As we move back to my camera, Shout out to both teams for putting on a show for the quarterfinals there. GG's. Got to make sure they say I say that to them in chat. And what a result. Let's team Breezy move on to the semifinals and try to see who their next opponent will be. But thank you all for tuning in so far. It's been some interesting matches up to this point in time. Ever closer are we to figuring out who is the king of Clarion Corp test chambers or kings or queens or whatever you want to say. But either way, we're going to be taking our next break.
We'll be back with a semifinal. We're going to be trying to do both of them because I think we have time after this. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with some more Omega Strikers, Clarion Corp Cup action in just a sec. See you in a bit.